two enormous reclaimed palm islands stretch 10 kilometers out to sea, with a third, even larger one, under construction. These mini cities took six years to create using millions of tons of rock and sand. 8,000 deluxe mansions and apartments have been built, housing 80,000 people. The Palm Islands increased Dubai's beaches by an astounding 112 kilometers. But this is not enough for the projected expansion of this emirate. Investors want more, not just their own houses in the sun, but their own islands. So the Sheikh comes up with his boldest plan yet, a design far more complicated than the palm. He will build an island chain in the shape of the whole world, an iconic global landmark surpassing all Dubai's previous projects. Louis Ajamil, the master planner, knows the world could be the most unique structure on the planet. There's nothing like this anywhere. We tried to find anything that of comparable scale that's been made by man. It has never been done. This literally has never been done. For future investors, the world is the perfect project, a blank canvas to build your own private dream in a highly exclusive environment. Millionaire developers from Ireland, Raymond and Andrew, know a good thing when they see one. We've been watching this whole development being created. We think it's fantastic. We think it's going to become the top tourist destination in the world. And why not invest in it? They snap up Ireland for a cool $38 million before it even exists. Their plan is to build the Emerald Isle in the sun. A three-bed house will cost $2 million. But the world project is a long way off. It will take five years to create the islands and another two before there are houses on them. Sultan bin Sulaym knows it's Dubai's biggest undertaking. I felt worried because uh, this has uh, never been attempted, but being so passionate about the project, I said, I think we can do that. The original plan was to create the seven continents in single sections. But the Sheikh quickly realized that no one will buy such big plots. Instead, he decided to divide the world into lots of little sandbars. Each investor can have their own private island. Hamza Mustafa is the man who has to deliver the Sheikh's dream. He knows just how important the project is to Dubai's future. There was an element of fear. This is an ambitious project. And this is a project that We'll put Dubai on the map. When it's built, 300 sand islands will rise out of the sea. Future investors will be able to buy their own part of the globe, anywhere from England or France to the different states of America. <laughs>